Hey everybody, this next video is going to be about random variables. Um, the point of this series is to teach people a lot like how to use the R program, um, but in able to really understand what you're doing in R, you need to understand the stats behind it. And the best place to start with statistics is random variables. Uh, so a random variable is basically, if I want to give a definition to it, um, it's just a variable whose value depends on the outcome of some random event. Um, this becomes a lot more clear with some examples. So uh, here we go. Example one, I'll just say is a single coin flip. So you have a random event, that's the coin flip, and then you have some variable. I'll say x equals zero if you get a heads and one if you get a tails. So you could do this um, random event um, and you get a heads and then you get x is zero. You could flip it again so you get another heads x is zero again. Flip it a third time you get tails then you get x is one. So pretty simple example here um, it's just you've got your random event and then a variable that de whose value depends on the outcome of that event um, so if we wanted to do a more complicated one say instead we have a, your event is going to be five coin flips And here we're going to have a variable y. Um, we'll say y is the number of heads. And we'll say z is 3 if the first flip is tails and 7 otherwise. So if the first flip is a heads. So, you could do your random event, do a what's called a trial of this event, and say you get uh, heads, tails, tails, heads, tails. You have y is the number of heads, so that's two. And then z depends on just the first flip. First flip is heads, so z is equal to seven in this case. Um, so instead of heads, tails, tails, heads, tails, so you had, I don't know, tails, 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 heads, heads. Here you've got y. Again, this is just another possible outcome of your random event. Uh, y is the number of heads, 2. Z depends only on the first flip. The first flip is tails. So z takes the value of 3. Um, OK, yeah, so that's example 2. Uh, I'll do one more example that can kind of uh, solidify the idea here. We'll just say uh, example 3. Uh, you're going to be rolling two dice. Um, and we will say the random variable, just use x again, equals the sum of the rolls. And y is going to be um, another random variable. I'll just say it's 3 times x. So say you roll. Say you roll uh, 2 and a 4. Then you've got x equals 6, y equals 3 times x, which is 18. So this could also just be 3 times the sum of rolls. Um, another possible outcome in your event would be, um, I don't know, 1 and a 6. 
So you just get x equals 7, y equal to 21. Um, so that's the sort of the bare bones definition and uh, some really simple examples of random variables. Um, the second part of this uh, lesson will go into how to simulate some random variables in R and then the next uh, few videos we'll talk about other types of more complicated random variables and other ways to describe them. Okay.